Okay, hey, I'm back everyone. Um, we are gonna, now that it is pretty dry, um, I'm gonna go in with um, a little bit of detail work. And I might use um, like a felt tip pen, like so, um, or a, um, I have a couple other felt tip pens. I have a small Sharpie here and a large Sharpie like so, but I also just might use some of my paint to do a little bit of detail work. So before I begin, I'm gonna find one of my old um, test surfaces and I'm gonna see, um, just use it as a, as a sample. So like where I wanted to maybe put a line through here, I'm gonna maybe see if I can try that on one of these. I think I'll use, maybe I'll use this one. Move my palette out of the way here a little. I have a thick, I have a thin, so we'll see. I'm gonna freehand it. Let's see if I like it. I don't so much, so I'm gonna try it with a ruler. That's why it's nice to have these little practice surfaces to decide before you even go on to your real painting to see if it's even going to work. So I definitely like the rulered mark. I'm using a cork-backed ruler um, so it's raised so the ink doesn't bleed. So I had a good test. I got to practice it a couple times. I'm going to try a different kind of marker. Um, to see if I think that that might work. Try my Sharpie. The Sharpies are gonna be a little bit um, brownish purple. I think I like this felt tip better, but I'm not sure. And then maybe I could try and see <clears throat> if I do like a skinny mark. Maybe I'll just put a line here and try it. And then I might try to do a curve with a stencil and then I might try to do it with paint. This is a Sharpie, but it's um, an extra fine point and it's not um, felt tip, it's more like a gel pen. I'm liking those. We try a little detail work. See if any of that might work. And then I might try, I might try a different one and see what happens if I try to use um, paint for a little detail. Maybe I'll try this one. Maybe I'll try and outline my ball. I have a um, little flat that I could try. There's a smaller flat. I have a little round. I think I'm gonna try the flat um, and see what happens. When you use a round, it can be harder to control how much it spreads out. Whereas when you use a flat, it kind of stays at the same size. And so you have more, I have more control. Some people will have different results when they use their different ways of, of working with them. Just use that one. Okay, so I'm gonna, see what I can maybe do here and come to my black. If it's too sticky, 
I might add um, a little water by dipping into my cleanup water there, kind of thinning it out. I'm going to be willing to turn the painting, make sure I have a good kind of runny paint on there that will work. I can see that this paint is pretty thin, maybe too thin because the white is still showing through. So I'm gonna try again. not loving my results so I might try a different brush on one of these tests but we'll see so it's pretty painterly I'm gonna go with that I don't love it. So maybe I'll try a different brush. So this is the round, we'll see if it works. I think I'm leaning towards using the marker. I think that's what I'm learning from it. Maybe I'll try a different value. Because the paint has a little white in it for this darker value, it's a little more opaque. And so I'm enjoying the coverage a little better. I might just to see, you know, if maybe a lighter value would work even better. And just by practicing, I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah, I'm feeling that maybe this light might be a better way to go instead of a straight black. And I might do that instead of the um, marker. Maybe. I am gonna do the marker. I'm gonna try the marker. I think I liked this felt tip one the best and I liked it with the ruler. I think I'm gonna turn it around so that I can see my these edges so I know where to stop. I'm also going to kind of hold it up and make sure that I look fairly parallel before I start. Looks pretty good. wrangle my curves here in a minute decide if I like it I think so I'm gonna line it up and make sure I've got the same distances from one side to the other I 
just hit a little wet paint there. This side, make sure I'm looking parallel. I'm not going to draw over the petals that extend. I can see that this one is not very straight, so I'm gonna just kind of split the difference. Okay. And here's where I could make a decision. Like this, I might say, well, if I try to freehand these, I might not love how they turn out. And so maybe I just leave it um, as is, but I don't think they look quite resolved. So I think what I might do is come in with my graphite just to kind of reshape. And then I might do like a spotted line or a dashed line or something so that I don't have to pull a full curve. I'm gonna get my shape, shift, my shape tracer that I used the other day um, to help build these curves. Or you know what I could do? Maybe I'll test tracing a curve on one of these. Seems like a good idea. That's why are these little tests are always so helpful because every time you paint, you're kind of coming up with a different way of working. Yeah. Put some ink on my chip bowl. Yeah, I think I'll do it. I think. We'll see. I think I've decided, even just laying it down, that I think I'm going to just do a dash mark. I'm gonna <clears throat> paint that out, I think. And then kind of decide if I think the dash looks okay. And it's not bad, it's all right. I'll try it over here. I'm gonna keep turning my paper so that it feels comfortable with the way that I'm moving my arm from my shoulder. Might clean that up. I do with that little white brush. And then I have to kind of use that into this space so that it doesn't look like I just did a white out. So a couple little flyaways. go. Maybe I'll just leave that one broken apart and maybe I'll do this one solid. We'll see.
yeah, that's kind of fun where that comes out. I'll paint that out in a second. I'm gonna do it solid if I can. Oops, I think I had it this way. There we go. And then maybe, oops. Maybe I can um, clean up a couple spots. I have to let that dry a little. paint is too wet. Dry it out a little. Thought maybe fix this little spot. Little flyaways again so that it doesn't look like I just did a little white out. I'm gonna remove a little of that paint. I don't love it. And then when that dries, I can touch it up if I need to. There's my cheap brushes again. Okay, and so then now I would think about how maybe to do this circle in here. And then when I'm done with that, I'll come in and then that's when I can maybe put some more highlights back on top of some of my flowers. So I'm gonna do a couple more tests. I think I'll try to do it with my tracer, but I, I may try to freehand this and then have it look freehanded, like let it be a little more organic. So I'm gonna do a couple tests. I'll start with my tracer again. I just happen to have a thicker one, so let's see. Oh, but it's kind of dried out. Mm, no. Let's find another surface. So I can try <clears throat> some different mark making on all these little support surfaces to see if that might be something that could work in the design. Sounds funny, but if you start to get confused on what kind of mark making, this is when you really want to think back to your ideal client. And this kind of like structured parallel lines is not reinforcing that like romantic, ephemeral, pretty, elegant client that I want. So I'm thinking this is probably a no, but I'm gonna commit and see what happens. I don't know, it's interesting that it is a little bit um, mechanical against something atmospheric, so it could work, I guess. I don't think so though. I'm gonna go with no. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try again. Maybe the inside one that I already have hand drawn. Like I can see that on my painting could be. Yeah, I think that's the answer. There's something about that broken line that kind of adds to that trying to capture capture something or catch it. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So I'll come back here. These are still a little tacky, but I'm just going to run with it. Kind of looking all the way around to make sure I have it where I want it. I'm going to stand. Oops, sorry. And I'm not going to go through all the petals. Okay, we're gonna hold our breath and see what happened. Hmm, fun. Well, now I could think about if I want that dash in there. I think I do. I think I do. That's still raw paper. Yeah, like maybe to activate this. I'm gonna try it with a different tool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the Sharpie. Sorry. Give myself some space here. I keep moving it so that again it works with the pull of my arm. Here's a longer run, so I need to be a little more careful. Yeah, I think so. And then what I can do at this point is go ahead and see if I can pull up some of my highlights with straight white. So I'm gonna try it on a tester. This kind of feels muddy like this. So I'm gonna try with my white. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a brand new dry brush. Find a good size. Maybe this one. Get out my whites out of there so that they don't get mixed up. And I'm just going to use the white. I might look at my photo reference again to see where I could lay in a couple highlights. Let's try it first. You know, if I just do the white, they're going to float 
on top. So I'm going to grab a little gray, just like a 10 or a 20. And try to kind of lay them down. So I have two brushes kind of going at the same time. It helps just to kind of get a feel for it as it unfolds. So I'm going to make like three <clears throat> clear ideas of where I'm going to put highlights. This is upside down. I think that's right. Yeah. So I think I'm going to put a little more highlight here, a little more highlight here and maybe a little more white in here. So let's see. I'm gonna maybe try to attach them in a couple spots. So it's kind of building these layers. And maybe a highlight on one of the leaves. And I'm gonna look at my leaves to help me kind of get some visual reference, like maybe a highlight right here. Maybe one right here. Go back to a little gray to rework that in there. So I'm thinking in those layers of three. I'm actually going to add a little black to that one. I think I might call that quits for now. Then maybe we'll have our um, critique at this point, and this is where we could help each other think about little areas we could shift or change or maybe make more interesting. Hopefully, as you're working through, you think to use some of these to try some of your other methods on to see if they'll work. Um, for me, it was working out with the um, using the markers to see if they would unfold in a good way. But I think I'm going to leave it for now and then um, revise it after I have some time away from it. I'll step back from it and look at it, look at it upright vertical, um, maybe take a picture of it and look at it so I can see if I want to adjust any values. Um, I think the thing I really want to do to it is like do a real pretty wash of pale, pale pink in it, which I know these are achromatic, but hey, I might. Maybe I could put a little dotted line there. We'll see. Okay, I can't wait to see all of yours. Bye.